Hi, my name is Megan and um, welcome to my channel. I decided that I would make my first video um, a sketchbook tour because um, I just finished a new sketchbook. I said I would start with a sketchbook tour because then you can have like a little idea of like what my style is and like what I do. This sketchbook was my mermaid sketchbook basically. So like I participated in mermaid most days. I don't know if I actually made it to all days. I'm 16. I'm self-taught and um, I work with Copic markers. Oh, okay, let's not drop them. Copic markers. <laughs> I also use a lot of colored pencils. Um, I'll make a whole. I might make a whole video going over um, what supplies I use because um, on my TikTok, I have a TikTok. I'll put it in the description along with my Instagram, my art Instagram. I get a lot of questions about what supplies I use, so um, I might just make a video of that. The sketchbook. It's basically whenever I do sketchbook work, it's mainly cartoon work just because it's a sketchbook and if I am going to spend a lot of time on something I'd like it to be on a separate piece of paper that I can like tear out and hang on my wall which is full of my, not full, um, it has some of my realistic drawings. That is my cat. So yeah, let's get into it. So this is actually the fifth sketchbook I've ever filled um, and I want to make another video about um, my old sketchbooks right there <laughs> so yeah this is in our Tezza sketchbook this cat this um I got it for Christmas but it was on my Amazon list so I know you can get it on Amazon and it's a set of two I got my I got my ELO sketchbook like right before I finished this one so I decided to use my ELO sketchbook before the other Arteza sketchbook so yeah my cover page I like doing cover pages because I just think they're fun um, this is my character, Poppy, actually. Oh, like that. And this was using gouache. Gouache smears. <laughs> and um, I was using the Hemi gouache for the first time, so I didn't really, like, know how to keep it off of my hands. So it got all over my hands and got all over here. But it's just, um, welcome to my fifth sketchbook. I filled it from March 29th to May 31st. So this page is kind of blank. Um, I just wasn't getting any inspiration off of this page, so I just and draw. <laughs> um, this is when I got my Hemi gouache and I just kind of swatched them right there. This was my goals. Yeah, this is Poppy again. Um, I have this whole story um, and I have a lot of characters. You'll see them throughout this sketchbook because I draw them more. This is a page of Draw This In Your Styles. This one I actually painted because I liked it. Um, I don't know what happened to it it kind of got really messy I don't know why and this eye was originally brown and when I opened the sketchbook after I painted it it was purple and I was really confused but um I didn't post these on my Instagram but um yeah none of these characters are mine just so you know I like this one um this was some tiktokers I was gonna draw from my tiktok um, and these were some random sketches. I was kind of going through like an art block at this point because um, this was this spread took me two days. It was for um, April 2nd and then April 3rd. Then this jumps to April 5th and then this is Avani. Uh, then this spread goes from the 5th to the 6th all the way to the 15th. And then this is my original character, Charlie. Um, this is when I got my first set of Copic markers. It was a 36 set of Copic chow markers. I'm pretty sure it's the C set. I have honestly no idea, but these colors were the most up my alley. The first thing I did was draw a new character. Um, I realized as I was looking at the colors, like I realized some of these colors, I love these colors and like I wanted to use them as a skin tone. So I have a character, you'll see her on the next page, who was the first original character that I ever created. Her name is Luna. So I decided, I was like, she probably has a sister. <laughs> so um, this is Nova. This is not a good representation. I just don't really like this drawing anymore because I think the head is too long. This is my character, Luna. And again, not an accurate representation of her. 
because I don't really like this drawing. It is posted on my Instagram, but um, I don't really like it anymore. But yeah, this is kind of more accurate. I don't know. I've had this character for almost two years, which is uh, basically the time that I've been drawing. This was right about when my style kind of shifted. Um, I decided that I needed to do more poses. So I don't take credit for like anything on this page just because um, I used Instagram references and most of them were drawings, actual drawings, they're like digital drawings. But um, yeah, getting my Copic markers definitely inspired me to actually draw. But yeah, um, this is when I did the three marker challenge. Again, I was inspired by my Copic markers. So I picked these three random colors, which um, is G14, E11, and 421. And I created this mermaid, because mermaid, uh, not mermaid, Bella, my kitty, that's my kitty. But I realized it was almost May, and um, I wanted to draw mermaid. So, yeah, this is the second year that I've actually done mermaid. What is, did I get, um, this is a random coal erase pencil sketch. Um, yeah, this is like right around when my style changed. So this is my drawing of Rapunzel. I did it with gouache, but like I like the sketch so much better. That always happens when I paint stuff. It just like the sketch was so much better. Um, but I posted this on my TikTok, and somebody had made a comment about I should try like softer faces, like because I always drew like a hard jawline. I don't know why I did, but like, it's true I did. Um, not this page, but the next page I actually changed. Um, right? Yeah. <laughs> This is just a character I drew because I wanted to get better with Copic markers and I'd gotten some new ones. This is when my style changed, yay. So I found some expression sheets on Pinterest that were like drawing expressions. This looks terrifying. Um, so I just started drawing some of them one day while well, I was supposed to be doing school, obviously. And I really liked her, so I colored her and I was like, I'm gonna name her. <laughs> These were her names, and me and my friend agreed on Ophelia. So this is my character, Ophelia. She's one of the newer ones. <laughs> this is some more work with Ophelia. Um, these are all of my characters. Um, I have a lot, but um, <laughs> that's what I do. I am with, I like designing characters. So this is with um, some other markers I have. They're the Bianio markers. I don't know if that's how you say it. But this is her with some other markers, which like, I mean, they're chisel and bullet tip nibs. So like, um, yeah, these bled through a lot because I had to blend a lot harder than I did with Kobe markers. And I think I actually have a draw. I have me coloring this on my TikTok as well. But yeah, I like Copic markers. I actually drew this before I colored that, so um, this is supposed to be like a redraw of an old drawing from 2014, um, and this one was like, I think 2015. I'm not really sure. I never dated anything, so it's hard hard telling. But these are some sketches from like 511, 511. <laughs> obviously says 5-1 maybe but I just wanted to get this idea of like this curly you know, like this really curly hair um so I just drew it here and this is some more Copic markers that I got this was a eyelash tutorial this was I don't even know I hated the way I drew these eyelashes but um people were asking how I draw my eyelashes on my tiktok so that's what I do this was some things I did before like right before mermaid this is like probably like the 29th of april or something around like that and i just really wanted to get some ideas out there which i actually kind of like used this idea almost exactly uh, uh, i did this first um this was the day before mermaid and i wanted to make a post on instagram i showed the cut with okay i showed the pencil sketch version this was an idea for Mermaid Day 1, and then that was just a random sketch that I did. Um, this is Mermaid Day 1, which I love this color scheme by the way. But yeah, I really love the hair, because I was still kind of like... I was still trying to find out like how to do hair, and like I wasn't... For some reason, I just didn't look at any photos, or photos, any videos on how... 
other people do hair, so I just kind of was guessing. Why is there so much graphite? Okay. Um, these are for Mermaid Day 2 or something. I don't know, or just other ideas. Like, um, I definitely like the, the, um, what's it called? <laughs> Thumbnail, there we go, it took me a second. Um, because I think I put, I don't know, I just think the tail intercepted something that I liked about the other one. Oh well. Um, this is Mermaid Day 2, um, and I just liked filling a whole page <laughs> with only one mermaid, because it that's how I am. But um, I really like this color scheme. I like the bright blue and the bright pink. Pink? Are you kidding me? Orange. It's orange. And this was some thumbnailing for um, day three. Um, whenever I do Copics, I never really draw on this side of the paper because uh, I just don't really like to. This is Mermaid Day 3. Which, like, I like it, but it didn't turn out how I wanted it to, because I messed up on the eyes and then tried to fix them and then couldn't fix them, and yeah. This is, like, just a little, like, sketch I was doing. I like it. And this was done with, like, my Tombow pens, like, the Tombow water-based pens, and it's funny seeing how they react right next to <laughs> alcohol-based. It's like, it just ate the paper, basically. This is... Just an outfit I saw on Pinterest and I was like, I want to draw it. So I did. That's a weird sketch. Um, this was thumbnail for the next day, but the next day is probably one of my least favorites in the whole oh I just wrote the page. In the whole month. So this was me trying to do that color scheme again. The pink and brown. But I think there's just too much brown, not enough pink in this. So it didn't like have the same effect for me. Um then these are just random sketches, and there's Charlie! Um, Charlie isn't the first character I created, but obviously Luna is. She's- I created her in like, Mar February or March, but she's still one of my favorites. Here are some colleges that have emailed me, but that's whatever. Um, this is like one of my least favorites, just because um, I hate it. <laughs> um, I like the hair, and I like the way the hair kind of looks. Um, but it just didn't turn out how I wanted it to when I kind of hated it, hate it, because for some reason I forgot to like lighten the sketch with even because even with the cool erase pencil, you need to erase it a little bit or else you will get like the you will like see it like right there and on oh, the face and the hand. Oh god, I just didn't lighten it because I forgot. There's a drawing of Tom Holland. Um, yeah. This was something for school, so my theater class. But um, this is Ophelia again. That's kind of like her outfit. And then these are some pen sketches I did for on TikTok. This one I was feeling really unmotivated um, for day five already unmotivated. But it was just kind of like the fails of the past two days that I kind of just like lost it. <laughs> so I just did some sketches. I really like this one. Of course, I didn't draw it high enough. Um, and then I use a reference from Pinterest. I'll also leave my Pinterest because I have a drawing board um, that I keep a lot of my references on. Um, I just used a reference that I found, like a mermaid drawing sitting, so. Um, this is for chemistry. This is Ophelia as a mermaid. I do that. Um, this is my character, MJ, which I was going to color her with Copics and then realized that I had liked this drawing, which I kind of like this part. I don't really like how this part turned out, but it's fine. Um, so I try to color with colored pencils and I'm like, it just doesn't feel right. So yeah, then I do Charlie. I draw Charlie a lot. <laughs> then I did a Draws in Your Style by Caroline Pajowski, I believe. And I really like this one. This is still one of my favorites um, because I didn't actually have this green. I mixed um, green and yellow, green and yellow, blue and yellow together for this. Yeah, I really like this one. Um, this page is a little bleh. Um, 
I was thumbnailing because I wanted to draw Charlie as a mermaid. Um, so, so I was thumbnailing. There was Charlie again. This is MJ, but I hate this. I, may, I ha get in the habit of making heads too long. But even then, I don't think I would like it. But, um, yeah. This is, uh, Charlie. <laughs> um, I painted something for my mom. It was a 2020 thing. Um, and this was a redraw, actually. Because uh, last year for Mermaid, I did a drawing that was just like this. With, like, these kind of colors. So I decided to do a full body because I don't like just drawing heads now. I like drawing full bodies because I can actually do it now. <laughs> yeah, I, this was with gouache. I think it was my Reeves gouache, this one. I think it was with that. Um, this was a thumbnail for the next day, right? Yeah. Um, this is Charlie. This is not her color scheme. Um, and this just didn't really look like her. I don't know how I got it wrong. This is more accurate. Yeah. Um, even that one's kind of not. Because I made her color scheme with watercolors. And, um, I don't have the same exact colors, obviously. But, yeah, it's her. Um... This was Mother- it was Mother's Day, so I drew like a mother and like a little baby mermaid. I made her arms a little long, so just don't look at that. But then I drew her again right here, because I just thought she was so cute. I'm due, so this is some thumbnails for a contest- contest? I don't even know if you call it that. But something that I'm entering for Copic, where there's a lot of winners, and you can win Copic markers, so obviously I'm going to enter. And um, I'm thinking about doing my characters, Luna, Charlie, and Andy, which Andy comes in later. Um, and I just, yeah, the thumbnail. This is a thing I did on TikTok, again, um, where you draw something without a reference. So, and this is what I realized, like, I wanted my MJ character to look like this, because back when I drew her a couple of pages ago, I was still kind of trying to figure out how, um, she looked because I wanted to redesign her, so that's what I wanted to look like. This is nothing. Um, <laughs> this is Charlie again. Whenever I don't know what to draw, I just end up drawing her for some reason. This, I love this one. Um, I wasn't finishing drawings for some reason, so it's like I was just like watching TV with my parents or something, and I just started drawing. And I love that one. Uh, this is another one that I like. Did I draw this on the same day? No, this was the next day. Um, yeah, this was, I was kind of getting into an art block, but then I quickly got out of it. But um, yeah, so it's, I don't know, I like this sketch. I like her little face. I'm doing more of those, like drawing without a reference. And I realized that this kind of looks like my character, Elowen. So I just made it look more like her. <laughs> then I decided to draw Charlie and I made them look kind of like more realistic. This was a redraw from last year because um, like I had drawn it when I got my red Copic marker and that was kind of like the inspiration because like I drew it with like my red color erase pencil and I mean it's just I don't know what happened here but and I made her torso a little long but yeah okay. Um, here are more of my characters. <laughs> This is Andy. Um, she was like the second character I created and I created her because I'm obsessed with the 80s and I love the 80s. I love the movies, the music, the style. Um, so I created her and she was supposed to be basically me because I love the 80s. <laughs> so I made her like almost exactly like me and then I decided to make myself. So um, yeah, that's Andy. This is her sister, Danny. I don't really know much about her, I just have her sister. That's Luna, that's Nova, which is her sister. Um, there's Ophelia, and there's me. In my story, this is my spider Sona. <laughs> so I'm like a spider character. Um, I love Spider-Man, a little fact about me. She isn't really supposed to look like me, she's just supposed to like have my personality and like my style and stuff. Um, this is Poppy. Um, this is when I tried to do that color scheme again, the pink and the brown. I love this drawing. Didn't really like, um, 
it didn't really give me like the same effect that the other one gave me because I just love the other one so much. But like I still really like this one. And these are some pen sketches. This is another thumbnail. Um, fun fact, another fun fact. I'm obsessed with it, like the movie and the book. Um, so I wanted to make like a poster. I actually started that and um, I got through Bev. <laughs> I drew Bev and I haven't done any of the rest of them yet. Um, I realized I needed to um, learn how to drop glasses. Garage door again. Thanks, Dad. And um, I realized I needed to draw more body shapes. So that's the thing I'm working on in my new sketchbook. This is another TikTok I did with the drawing without a reference because I just was basically doing that all day. <laughs> and this was so I did, except for Luna, I did these three this spread and all of this on one day because um, I was trying to fill the sketchbook as fast as I could um, so I could use my Elo sketchbook and then this was kind of like a thumbnail to get this idea and then this is just a pen sketch but I really like it I don't know I just like it don't know why I just, just like it um, this was some thumbnails for the next day I was trying to fill the page with that this one I did on a family zoom um, I do like the color scheme though. Um, we're gonna ignore this page for a second. Um, I wanted, so these are just some Pinterest references I found of characters. And then I started drawing in the Tim Burton style because I love Tim Burton and I love the movies. So there's some notes. This is probably my least favorite besides the other one. Um, I hate that. This is more Tim Burton stuff. Um, and this is like her this is all from the corpse sprite, so this is Emily. Um, those sketches were Emily too. Um, and this is like Emily on the poster. She's technically standing next to Victor, but I had already drawn this, so I can put Victor in there. But yeah, I tried to draw a mermaid in the Tim Burton style, and I really like it. And this hand, I did without a reference, and I looked at it so long for so long, I found everything that was wrong with it. And this arm is extremely long, like, extremely but i don't even care at this point i realized after feeling like so much that one day like this day i realized if i only drew one spread a day i'd be able to finish it by the end of may so i drew mermaids on this side and thumbnails on this side thumbnails mermaid again cool erase pencil i like this one she reminds me of something but i can't even put a finger on it so um, some more thumbnails. I really like the puffy hair from like the, um, uh, um right there. So I kind of redrew it, read, redrew it, redrew it there. I'm gonna count this. Um, I actually went back on a separate day a couple days later and colored it because I didn't color it at first. Then, um, thumbnails. This is, um, the fish product. I actually really like this one, mainly because I didn't look at any references, I didn't look at any, like, um, pictures on Instagram, I just kind of drew, and this is what I came up with, and I think it could have benefited from a reference, but, um, I just kind of messed with it until it actually looked right. Something I did basically all month, I didn't really look at any references, um, like, I would look at Instagram for, like, inspiration, but I wasn't, like, looking at any photos while I was doing it which is a lot different from last year because I didn't really have my own ideas last mermaid. So I basically looked at references for everything. I wanted to do a mermaid that was like all hearts, inspired by hearts. Yeah, that didn't work out. Um, that was the thumbnail. This, like I like this part. I like the, I kind of like the face, I don't even know, but something went wrong with this hand. I don't know what happened, honestly. So this was, some thumbnails like I wanted to draw like a mean looking character because all my characters are like all smiley and everything so I don't really do this so like it I started with this and then like I developed this so it was just, like, I really liked this like expression um and then like I added the really poofy hair and then like a, a shape on top of her head and I was like oh what if she's like a princess so that's what I made her and um I was doing a lot of graphite because I love graphite. Um, yeah, I really like this 
I like it. Next page. Um, I really want to do a pen sketch, but I'm always scared. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm always scared of doing pen stuff in case I mess up because like I don't like messing up. But I don't think I did. And I also wasn't going to draw the hands because I knew I would mess up on those. So, yeah. But I really like her. And then like I went back and colored this with like one of my purple Copic markers. I liked that. And, um, I had cramps. So like I was basically in bed all day. So I didn't really draw. And I went downstairs and watched some TV with my family. And that's when I did this. Or with my parents. Um, um, and this is what I drew. I actually like this. I like her face. And I like her hair. So again, thumbnails. Um, really repetitive. But um, I just basically wanted to make sure that all my mermaid drawings were in one sketchbook. And didn't like spread across two. Because I just didn't want that. Um, I definitely could have drawn more. And I was drawing a lot more like outside of my sketchbook so I was drawing on like several pieces of paper so like this is this wasn't what all I was doing but um yeah I like this one and I kind of like the fact that her little fins are those fins her tail <laughs> tail fins are almost as long as her body so they're probably longer actually yeah I like her um this one I really was inspired by like points like edges <laughs> well, I started drawing this and then like I accidentally made her like really like sharp so I was like what if I just rolled with it with this thumbnail and then this is a drawing and this is also inspired because like I wanted to use this champagne color um because like I never use it but I wanted to because I realized it was a pretty color um and then I asked my mom and she told me that she used like a purple for the hair and I don't know why, I just really like how this came out. So yeah. Um, this, <laughs> yeah. I got these Copic markers. And I decided to do some tutorials on TikTok. About how I color with, sketch with my Copic markers and how I do hair. And then I created this. Because I was inspired by these two colors. And I was like, what if I create a blonde character? And those were the mermaid drawings for this day. Uh, yeah. Um, this was what I count as my final mermaid drawing. Because I didn't do mermaids on the last day of mermaid. But um, I was inspired by a royal grandma basslet fish. Because um, I was just looking at fish one day. I don't even know why. I was looking at yellow fish. And then this one came up. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I like the colors. Um, so like, this is what I came up with. And it has a stripe across its face. Uh, technically, it's across its eyes, but I didn't want to go across the eyes. Because that would have been like a little confusing. So I just put it like across like, there. And I really like the position, or like the pose. I didn't position the head quite right on the final. But, um... I still really like this, and I have an obsession with this hair color, this hair situation, so that's why there's so many, but I really like the actual bodice. I didn't mean to actually do it on the arm, it just kind of happened, and then I was like, yeah, it's too late now. And then this is the final page. Um, yeah, it's the last day, but I just feel like drawing a mermaid, because I've drawn a lot. And then these are some draw super styles again that I found on Instagram. Um, and it was technically Tom Holland's birthday and where he lived. So I drew him. Where I lived, it was still the 31st. So call it the 31st. Um, then this was the last page. And then this one. Yeah. Um, Thank you for looking through my sketchbook. Yeah, that's my sketchbook. So thank you for looking through my sketchbook with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. And um, yeah, I'm excited to make more videos, more art videos. So yeah.